one thing that's interesting about having a core battery powered airplane is the second you have one, more engines show up. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Larry Nelson. You see me fly my Zenith 601 HDS Corvair. And um, anyways, new engine showed up, so I thought, I've got it. Might as well build it. And I'm going to build this thing into a uh, engine, kind of show you guys along in the process. First glimpse inside the motor. So here's the inside of the motor. It actually looks really clean. Um, I know the motor has been rebuilt, so but the inside is looking pretty good. You see that? It's making noises. <laughs> it's good and free on the inside, so I'm happy with that. So I gotta do a little more research on this thing, but I know that these heads are not going to be uh, used for the airplane. I'll show you why here. So on the aircraft, these are actually a single boss. These are actually the 140 heads, not the 110 heads. So I'm going to be swapping these out for 110 heads. So you see, what makes a 140 head is you have these two carb bosses here on this side, two carb bosses on that side. On the 110 head and the 95 head, there's just a single one, and it's located right about here. Yeah, but uh, right about here, actually, on both sides. So there, and the other one's right about here. And you need that so that you can actually get the uh, intake manifold on. So, again, looking to swap these out. And this is one of the things I'm liking about this engine is also, because it's a 140 engine, let's see if you can see it here in the light, that right there. That mark tells me that this was a factory nitrided crank, which, again, saves me money. I'm going to try and do this as a budget build, because this is a factory nitride crank, I don't need to go and do a lot of the reprocessing. I need to get this right here drilled and tapped out to one inch, 14 I believe is the threads for the safety shaft. This gear here, this is the question mark. If this was from an automatic, I'm gonna have to pull this gear and swap it out for a um, one from a manual gearbox. Again, not a big deal, it's just a you know one day type deal. This is going, this is the factory cam, so that's going to be going as well. But you see all the schmutz and nastiness on this engine. It needs to get cleaned up. The other thing that's interesting is this had NGK plugs on it. So really what I'm looking to say from this is case here, all of the rods, as you see down here, all the rods. The back here, this is the oil housing. That's going to get rebuilt by William Wynn. All of these cylinders are also going to stay. They're going to get bored out, but the head, the valve covers, all that stuff's going to go out, and I'm going to swap it out for um, for the ones that I need. So, so here we go on the engine. This is not a standard pickup, so I'm going to have to think about that one. The other thing is it has these weird covers over all of the lifters. So I'm going to pull into that and see what I can figure out, because that is weird. All right, so I want to show you guys this. <clears throat> All right, let me show you guys this. So these are the rocker arms out of the Corvair. Now what's interesting, if you haven't noticed, they look a lot like small box Chevy rocker arms. That's because it's a GM product. GM designed them both. So all of the valve train is off. What we're going to be doing is this entire head is going away. This is not going to stay with the project. Um, for the project, I need the 110 head. So that's going away. But what we're going to be keeping are these studs right here and these plates because that's what's going to reattach the new head to the engine as we're getting it done but see starting to come along we're getting it 
kind of pulled apart, getting the parts I need to where they need to be. So, I wanted to get the heads off. Not gonna happen today. Reason, that ratchet sitting in my hanger. It's not here, so I can't pull the heads off. But, some things I did find out. Number one, there was not a single side of this head that had the same size nuts on it, which was kind of annoying, so they're different size nuts. Shouldn't have been there. They're also grade five, they should have been grade eight, which they weren't. Uh, one, of the head one of the head studs here pulled out. Didn't pull out of the case, it's still thread in, so I'm gonna have to re-lock tape that, because whoever did just thought, hey, let's put anti-seize on there, and that's good enough. Whatever. Um, but yeah, they obviously didn't have a shop manual, didn't torque this thing the way it should be, so when I put it back together, it should be done right. So that's it for now. I think I've got to take a trip out to Summerton to the hangar. So for night, as you saw, that cylinder was stuck to the head, so I'll have to get myself a new cylinder. But uh, other than that, everything came out pretty good, so. Hey everybody, it's the next day, and um, did some research and had some really good information that uh, really made my day. So all of the pistons in here are already forged pistons. That means I've got not only forged pistons and a factory nitrated uh, crankshaft together, that those things saved me a lot of money on this build. So, um, yeah, looking at about $300 in savings just from that. Also, talking to William Wynn, um, apparently I've got about two or $300 worth of uh, components from the 140 engine that I can sell. This should also help me reduce the cost of this build. Again, the purpose of this is I'm trying to make a budget-friendly engine. I'm looking to build this thing as inexpensively as possible to show you that it's really easy to build a Corvair motor and to do it on a, on a reasonable budget. So... What I've got left to do, I'm going to try and get this thing, uh, next video, I'm going to try and have the crankshaft out, uh, inspect the crankshaft, take a look at the cam, and um, begin the degreasing and getting ready to uh, start putting the engine back together and doing some of the processing. So follow along if you like this type of content, and hopefully you'll be able to see a running engine here in not too long. See you next time.